Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. And for today's video, Lotus has blessed us with their router bits. So this is their new router bits. For me, this looks uh, very good compared to their old router bits, the yellow ones. But looks can be deceiving. That's why we are going to test each bit and see if they do what they're supposed to do. But before everything else, I'm going to show you how to install these bits in these routers. We got the plunge router, the Lotus plunge router, and the Lotus palm router. As a beginner, I found it hard to install bits because, uh, well, of course, I don't know. I didn't know how to install bits, but figuring it out, mm, it was a bit difficult. So here's a short. So here's a short to short. <laughs> so here's a short tutorial on how to install bits in your routers. So let's go. So first, let's start with the simple one, the palm router. So it's simple as it gets. First, to properly install, you need to remove this piece. There, it's safe to remove this piece. Just set it aside and then, well, we need to open. So here's the bit. Wait, it's hard. Come on, bit. So, uh, Lotus, paano to tanggalin? Joke lang. There, there, there. Wow, ang haba ng shaft niya. Now that you've got your bit, let's, you just put it inside. Oh. Parang feel ko mahaba ang... I'll get the old ones. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So, this is their old bit set. Here, as I said, it's the yellow one. And... And the shank is shorter. As you can see, it is shorter. I don't know if that's a big thing, but it's my first time. Because if you uh, insert the old bit, it goes all the way through, or the whole shank. Unlike this one. There's... Uh, There's a bit of shank coming through, but let's just roll with it, okay? So, there. Lotus has provided two wrenches for the palm router. So, just put that there. And the other one on the big nut. Whoa. <laughs> so, just wrench it. Wrench it. Wrench it. Okay, so that's good. So, just double check. Double check. You don't want your bit flying while using it, so there, there. Okay, that's good. So now that's the bit installed in our palm router. So you can put this back. Wait, how do you put that here? Oh, joke, 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 joke. Put this back, and you have a bit installed there. That's your bit installed in the palm router. Next, the big boy, the plunge router. So this is the Lotus plunge router. It is so much bigger than the palm router. So Lotus has also provided some bushes so that the default of the, this plunge router is a half inch shank, something like this, a big beefy half inch shank. It goes in perfectly, see? Now we only have these 1 4th inch shanks. We're gonna need the 1 4th inch bush. So here, as indicated, it has a 1 4th inch and 3 8 of an inch. So we're gonna use the half inch. So to install, to install the half inch bush, just take out the big collet. Get the collet insert in the bush in the collet there then stick it right in there and then now that the bush is installed let's close it's hard to to remove 
Okay. That hurt me a little. So let's just put in the bit. So just right. In the bit. There. So for this one, Lotus has provided one big wrench for the big collet. The plunge router has a clutch. You press this, this yellow button over here. So press it while wrenching it in. There, okay, now that's tight. Your bit is installed. So there, that's how you install the bit in the plunge router. So now let's go to testing them on some scrap pieces of wood. Okay. Okay. Tight. Not, hopefully not going anywhere. So, medyo messy. Yep, routers are one of the messiest tools out there. They produce so much sawdust. Anyway, these are the results of our test run. This is from the edge profiling, the edge detailing, the round over and the chamfer bit. This is from the flush trim bit. I used flyboard and then laminated a piece of birch plywood on top. Next, where's the other one? Here, just a piece of pine wood where I run through the V-groove and the single fluted straight bit. So as you can see, they have a nice cut. So generally, I'm very happy with the bits actually. 
uh, the especially the so generally I'm very happy with the bits especially the edge profiling bits the round over and the chamfer bit when I went through the wood parang walang laban there was no resistance given that it is brand new still the brand new bits of Lotus last time the old the old bits they had a bit of resistance when I use them. These bits, so nice, so sharp. I hope they're durable. They went through the woods with ease. This is mahogany hardwood. This is just pine wood, but still nice cuts, nice grooves. And this is from the flush trim bit. It's clean, it's nice, as expected from a nice bit. So the only thing, the only thing that bothered me is it is so hard to remove them from where they are. For example, as you can see in the video, I use some pliers to take them out. You cannot take them out with their bare hands, the small ones, but you can do it with the big bits. The little bits are a challenge to remove from their case. So, yep, that's, that's a con so far. So yeah, that's it for the test run. Go try the bits yourselves once it is released. So enjoy woodworking, stay safe in the shop, and see you in the next one. Bye!